Hey everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We are just moments away from kickoff, and we've got a good one on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Atlanta Falcons. With that, let's get up to Atlanta. We're standing by at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. We thought the old place was loud. Somehow this place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with the Cincinnati Bengals. Up in the booth with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and kick off straight ahead, CD. What's one thing that you're going to have your eye on? I think about what the great coaches of the past always said, the key to any ball game. Can you rush theirs and protect yours? Well, in this case, both of these teams get after the quarterbacks. I'm watching the pass rush. Here's Randy Bullock now to put toe to leather. Two teams more than ready to get this one started. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Falcons now to get the football for the first time. They'll be led out by the number one overall pick of the 2008 draft, the man they call Matty Ice, quarterback Matt Ryan. I always enjoy reflecting on Matt Ryan's career at this stage because when he came out of the draft, he was the number three pick overall. There were plenty of doubters out there about whether he should have gone in that slot. I don't think you can find any of those doubters now, one of the top quarterbacks in the NFL. First and ten, it's Ryan. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run for the first time with Devontae Freeman. And he's got it up over the 40 to the 41. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. All right, let's look at the offense. Devontae Freeman, this is a guy that you wanted to talk about, so take it away. Brandon, have you seen a running back play with such joy as well as such fury? I love the way he runs the football and attacks defenses. Second down, Ryan throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Carter, your thoughts on this D-line? I love a unit that can control the run and get after the passer. This is an all-around terrific defensive front. Hard to move the ball against them on the ground, and then when you want to throw it, look out. Here they come after the quarterback. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. It's caught, Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ryan to Jones, the Falcon connection there for a first. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Off the play, fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 
And a nice gain of 21 yards. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down nice play there to force the incompletion and to me one thing's for sure when you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road you absolutely have to get takeaways you've got to get the ball from them yeah win that turnover battle gonna be key they didn't get one there but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that they might just get a few yeah once you get one defensive teams think they come in bunches on second down Freeman who with a juke and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty Automatic easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Ryan will throw again. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Austin Hooper, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons have taken the early lead. It's never any fun, Brandon, when you're the defensive team in the first drive of the game, you give up a touchdown. The key is not to get down. Make those adjustments and come back for your next series with the intent of shutting them down. Now Matt Bryant on for the point after. Bryant tacks on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So this drive spans seven plays, and the Falcons score to cap it off. Here's Bosher to kick it away. On the return, it's Alex Erickson. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They'll be let out by the Red Rifle. From TCU, it's Andy Dalton. A day one starter's rookie year. He also won a whole lot of games as well. First five years, the Bengals went to the playoffs each and every year. Continues to evolve as a quarterback, learning how to work around a running game, an offensive line, and receivers that continue to develop. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now Dalton. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up a touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that When they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. First drive for this offense today and our first chance to get a look at Tyler Eifert. And he's part of the new wave of tight ends in the NFL. They use them in every position, sometimes even by themselves as a wide receiver. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. The former second-round pick, this is Joe Mixon. And a good swarm to the football defensively as they get him down at about the 40. Just a couple there on the second down run. Now they're staring at a third and eight situation. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Dalton here from the gun. And able to find Green. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Dalton to Green for a Cincinnati first. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Vic Beasley in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Hey, 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 hey. Dalton on the draw to Mixon. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Five yards on the pickup, and they'll be facing a third and 12. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. Play action now, Dalton. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll bring up fourth down. Playoff 
have here as time will expire on this first quarter. 7 nothing is our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals with a football to begin quarter number two. They are, however, facing a fourth down situation. So on fourth down, on comes the left-footed punter, Kevin Huber, to punt it away. Justin Hardy deep for Atlanta. And here now come the Falcons. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice that it all came together. But I'll bet you it got galvanized in the locker room in pregame. Somehow I think the head coach, his oratorical skills were on point. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. From the shotgun, Ryan. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. Holding offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. Complete. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. That'll bring up second down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. A good pick up there, a 22. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. And on this challenge, the refs have to take a peek and see whether or not the receiver is able to dot the eye with both feet. While making sure that he possesses the football all the way through the catch. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. They go play action here on first down. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Geno Atkins with a great push up front. He picks up the sack and a loss of eight. Tremendous read and reaction by the defensive tackle and frankly, partner, it's not that often the DTs have that type of easy access back to the quarterback. Never bought the play action fate. Got 
got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Play action. Ryan. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. And now they're looking for 19 yards here on third down following two negative plays. From the gun, it's Ryan. And Jones has it over the middle. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big time play for them. Nice completion, excellent game. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, of that marker. On fourth down, here's Matt Bosher on the punt. Alex Erickson, deep for Cincinnati. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Andy Dalton. And he's got the hookup to Brandon LaFell. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Dalton with a give here to mix it. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. Second down, Dalton. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. And to the 40-yard line, that's where the return stops. Yeah, he's just trying to throw this ball into the hole in the zone, but those windows can open and close quickly, especially in the middle of the field. So if the timing's not right, we'll see interceptions like that one right there. So out come the Falcons now. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. To the interception. Here's Ryan. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. 
You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So second down and 10, once again, they'll go from the 40. They go play action now, Ryan. Looking deep for Julio. Oh, he almost had it for the pick. A great chance there for the interception in the end zone. Instead, third down. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Operating from the gun, Ryan. He's got two. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A pickup of 24 on the third down conversion. But we always hear about the connections some quarterbacks have with certain receivers. I think this guy has a connection with just about everyone. Didn't mind throwing it in there against double coverage to him. Shows some confidence, supreme confidence. Big time confidence that he would make the play for him, and he did. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. This is Freeman on first and 10. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Bryant now to tack on the extra point. Bryant's extra point up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Sure to kick it away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, 
probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Now a first carry for Giovanni Bernard. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. Underneath, this is Bernard. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. A first down throw coming for Dalton. Complete to the right side, it's Eifert. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Dalton, first and 10. Green's got it over the middle. Gave a glimpse of his quick feet. And then take it down right at the 30. And before this second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gunn alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes the timeout. And now we're set to get going. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. And it'll be Dalton again. And Eifert has it. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Dalton to his big target, Eifert, for the Cincinnati first. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Dalton operating in the red zone now. And that's going to be incomplete. 12 seconds left. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Lee, Lee. Throwing again, Dalton. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Another chance for Dalton. Got a man. It's Ross complete. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter.
And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Bullock will put this one through. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has been a hard-hitting affair to this point, and you got to expect we'll see more of the same in the second half. And to bring the action your way, let's get it right back out to Brandon God. Here's Bosher to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think just, they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they feel like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. <laughs> now a play fake here on first down. And it's incomplete. You know, despite the scoreline, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now Joe Mixon. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Third down, a shot here for Dalton. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Pulled in at the 24. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and 10. All right, gearing up for another drive here. Austin Hooper trots back out. And what can they do to better account for him? Because they haven't accounted for him well so far as we see here on your screen. They may have to drop coverages they haven't run so far. <laughs> they have to create something on the fly because he's beaten everything. 
And when you watch this game unfold, you keep thinking to yourself, is it two men, three men, maybe even a fourth guy may have to go and account for him. But right now, he's shredding the defense. Yeah, two touchdowns, over 100 yards. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now, first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Off the play, fake to Freeman. It's Ryan. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And that'll be incomplete. Well, sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. The Falcons on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Ready, ready, blue 80. Line, go. Operating from the gun. Ryan, over the middle, that's caught by Ridley. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. The 15 yards there on the catch and run. Did you see that route the way that I did? I yep. thought he was trying to get Yeah, that first. wasn't the first option. No, not the, it came off of that guy, the deep guy, and came underneath on the drag, completed it very well. Ryan now, 11 of 17 passing thus far. He's got his guys a first and 10. Ryan now, off the bootleg. Toward the right sideline, but it's incomplete. What's the old adage, be quick but don't hurry? Well, that went right out the window there. He was hurried, harassed. <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of, otherwise he was gonna get sacked. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. To throw again, Ryan, he goes underneath to Freeman, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. It'll be a two-yard gain, and they're going to have a third down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. The Falcons on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This is third and eight. Ready, back Again, Ryan. And it's complete, Hooper. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. He's been big, two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Ryan now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. And he'll lay out and pull it in. What a diving catch there. 
Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. To me, there's nothing like watching rookie effort in the NFL. So excited to be there. They're going to give you the max on each and every play, aren't they? Well, he proved himself on that catch, that's for sure. I think he may have proved himself to the point where he's going to get a second here. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage. Start, make sure your offense. team is set before you begin your cadence. That's going to set him back five yards. That false start knocks him back behind the 10 now as they'll try again first and goal. After the penalty, here's Freeman. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. George Iloka, the one that comes up to make the tackle. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. This will be caught just inside the 10. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Ready. Go. From the shotgun, Ryan. And he's got his star receiver. It's Jones for the Falcon touchdown. Julio Jones, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Falcons will extend their lead that drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me very precise methodical as one of the words you've taught me and they just got it done and slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit things looking good for them here in the third quarter not only pulling away but you mentioned that slowly but surely you also drain clock too with yep. a drive like that so you really give yourself an advantage Bryant tacks on the extra point and the lead is up to 18 now a 10-play drive that time. And the end result, an Atlanta touchdown. Here's Bosher to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So here's Dalton and the Bengals now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The drive starts with a handoff to Bernard. Tackle made by Devondre Campbell. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. It's second down, Dalton looking. 
And a right side completion here by LaFell. And they're able to get this one across the 35. A Bengal first down, Dalton hitting LaFell. another play time has expired on this third quarter we'll return with more after this this is the NFL and it's on EA Sports back now here on EA Sports it's the Bengals they've got the football but they trail here as we get rolling in quarter number four Andy Dalton now 9 of 16 through the air as he's got it first and 10. Wait, wait. Dalton here from the gun. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And now it's second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is emboldened a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Second and 10, Dalton once more. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. But I think a Bengal player was able to get in there. He was, and they'll keep possession of the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Now the Bengals on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This will be third and forever. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Caught, Eifert over the middle. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. It'll be a pickup of 16, but they'll remain short of the marker, and it's fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Oh, and now movement and a whistle, and they may have to rethink their plans on fourth down. False start, offense. So that one will be accepted. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that's complete to LaFell. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Felt compelled to go for it there on fourth down. Trailing in the fourth quarter. They got it done. And there's always a lot of pressure on a fourth down call. Doesn't matter the distance. He stopped to get it done as you noted. And they did. Andy Dalton now, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Lady, lady. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. This will be Dalton again. And complete into the arms of LaFell. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Dalton going to break the huddle, come up first and 10. And he's 5 for 6 now, throwing the ball on this drive. Now whistles at a flag, and I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. False start, offense. The false start backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, it's Mixon. It's a five yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back and it's back to second and 10. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Fighting him off, and able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. Despite the score, despite the deficit, no quitting this guy. He's running angry, running through arm tackles. He wants to change what that scoreboard is saying. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Time for a break. We'll come back to wrap this one up after this. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal as they look to punch in a late score. Touchdown. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one to five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one to five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you know. Doesn't you gotta, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. Extra point up and good by Bullock, and it makes the score 21 to 10. So that one, a long 11-play drive, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run.
Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And a good job here by the Falcons. Their hands team able to recover it. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Personal foul, face mask, defense. They're down here in the fourth and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these and types of situations, down. players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. Now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. This is Coleman. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. Oh, look at this. Ryan's going to throw it. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. The Falcons on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. This time it's third and three. Four down, four down. Check. Hey, ready. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. Encroachment defense. So five yards there. Is
It's one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. Maybe a critical mistake at this juncture is now they've got a first and ten. Brian wants to throw it. And it's caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Now Ryan on second down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The Pro Bowl wideout Julio Jones is intended receiver. And it's third and short. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. The Falcons on third down. They have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. They come out here in the eye. On third down, Devontae Freeman. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Devontae Freeman taking it in from two yards out. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. We got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space. But how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Still an important piece of business to take care of. The extra point. Bryant's extra point up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends in a touchdown run from Devontae Freeman. Here's Bosher to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in a game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, 
I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. His big tight end, Tyler Eifert, the intended receiver. And it's second down. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of ten times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. Passing again, Dalton on second and ten. And incomplete on the deep ball. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And the Bengals on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and ten. From the gun, Dalton to the sideline, and wow, what a catch there. He doesn't get a lot, but he was able to get the feet down complete. It'll be a pickup of only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. A nice job of bringing that in, but why was he so close to the sideline there? They had all kinds of room in the flat. A little bit of a lack of coordination between him and the quarterback, because both of them should have seen that room that was available, that space, Stop your route a little bit shorter, put it on him, and let him turn and get upfield. Big fourth down here, it's Dalton. Now a desperation throw deep. Oh, well, this is taken in, it's complete. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Now, no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. Please, please. A first down throw coming for Dalton. Green's got it over the middle. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. And he'll indeed get him to the line and spike it here to stop the clock. <laughs> Off the play fake to Mixon. This is Dalton. Flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Now let's see who this is on. Illegal forward pass, offense. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. Maybe worse than the loss of yardage, they also lose the down. So now it's third and long. Another chance for Dalton. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Tell you 
what, partner? After he ices down, he's going to be a nice, long, soak in a hot tub after this one. He's been under duress the entire game. And once again, hit as he throws. Fortunate that one wound up incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that'll be just about all she wrote for this one. So they tried to go for it for pride, but it really wouldn't have mattered. This one, it was already determined. No doubt about it. This one was over a while ago. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. <laughs> yes, get out of there. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. to the booth to see if that was a touchdown and they have decided it will not be a touchdown. Six points off the board. Ryan heads down to a knee and that should wrap this one up. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. And Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. It's a win for the Falcons here as we say so long from Atlanta.